Hey guys, um, welcome back to some more reviews. And today I want to do a video just to pay my respects to um, some celebrities that have passed away over the course of the year. And here recently, I think last night, I was on Facebook and I seen this post talking about this, I don't know if it was a documentary or I think it was a documentary, but it was a documentary about Wes Craven's life. And I was like, okay, all right, cool. You know, it's a documentary about Wes Craven's life. But at the same time, I was kind of, you know, I was like, well, what, what does that mean? What happened? And I scrolled down and I found out that Wes Craven, one of the horror masters, um, one of the masters of terror, you know, one of the masters of horror, he's made Nightmare on Elm Street, Hills of Eyes, Last House on the Left, basically one of the kings of horror, one of the legends of horror movies, he passed away. And I was shocked. I was just like, I was like, no, not Wes, not Wes Craven, man. You know, he always seemed like a cool guy, you know, during his commentary and stuff, seemed like a cool guy, seemed like a cool director, you know. He's directed so many movies that I'm a big fan of, like Shocker and um, People Under the Stairs and Serpent in the Rainbow, Nightmare on Elm Street, the very first one, I mean, and um, New Nightmare, which I've grown to, you know, like. I like Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Um, Last House on the Left, the original, which in the past, I mean, I got, I'm going to be honest, I really, in the past, I kind of didn't like Last House on the Left, but I watched it, and I kept watching the movie, and I really enjoyed it after I seen it a few times. Um, I really think that's a well-shot movie for, for, you know, for, they did a great job working with the budget that they had. I mean, it was, in my opinion, now that I I've been watching it for a few years now, and I just have grown to think it's a classic. It's a good movie, in my opinion. Um, I also want to talk about some other celebrities that have passed away. Um, Marilyn Burns, who uh, passed away in I think late 2014. The uh, the star, I think of um, well, yeah, the star of um, the original Tex News Massacre. Which is my favorite horror film of all time. And Marilyn Burns did a great job in the movie. Um, I also wanted to, you know, mention, you know, Roddy Roddy Piper and Dusty Rhodes, two legends in WWE. Um, you know, when they passed away, it was really shocking, too, because they're, they're WWE legends. And I really enjoyed Dusty Rhodes and... Um, um, Roddy Roddy Piper or whatever because I remember I was watching WrestleMania 21 the other day and I was watching that great moment with Roddy Roddy Piper doing Piper's Pit on WrestleMania 21 which was a great WrestleMania moment and and Dusty Rhodes um, I remember him during WrestleMania 31 him you know talking talking with other people about you know how WrestleMania is going to be great and stuff like that and you know, he's like a cool guy, nice guy, Dusty Rhodes. And, you know, I'm really sad they passed away. I'm sad that all these people passed away because they're great people. Um, Robin Williams was a big shocker, too, because he was in so many movies I really enjoy. I really enjoyed Hook. Um, Mrs. Doubtfire, I really enjoy. What Dreams May Come. I really enjoyed that movie too. I enjoyed a lot of his movies. Robin Williams. I think he's a great actor. I think he was a funny actor. You know, he was a great, just a great performer, great actor. And whether it be, you know, performing in the WWE or performing in the motion picture, you know, business, these people did great things. They're going to be remembered. And, um, they were amazing people, um, and yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just want to make this video to sort of pay my respects to the people that have passed away over the year, over the over the course of this year. 
that Christopher Lee from Lord of the Rings. And, um, you know, I, I remember seeing him in Lord of the Rings, Sleepy Hollow. Um, always had a presence to him in his movies, and like a serious character in his movies. You know, it seemed like he had a presence to his character, Christopher Lee, in his movies. Um, I know that he was in a Dracula film, which I haven't seen yet. Um, but I'll definitely give it a watch. And he was in a Dracula movie, but I can't, I, I can't, I, I don't think I've seen it. I don't believe I did, um, but I will check it out. Um, so yeah, Marilyn Byrne, Robin Williams, <clears throat> Robin Williams, Wes Craven, Roddy Piper, Dusty Rhodes, um, Christopher Lee, just, um, rest in peace. You guys, you were all great people, amazing people, and just rest in peace, pay my respects to you guys, and just say you guys were wonderful performers and wonderful directors or, you know, whatever profession, profession that you did, you know, uh, whether it be, whether it be directing or acting or performing in the WWE, whatever your profession was, you did it well. You were awesome, amazing people. And yeah, this is just, so many people have passed away over this year. It's just, it's, it's real sad. And, yeah, um, but I wanted to make this video just to remember and, you know, well, just to remember and also to just say that these people are great people and they're going to be missed. So, yeah, rest in peace to all those people. Um, Roddy Roddy Piper, Christopher Lee, Wes Craven, Marilyn Burns, um, Robin Williams, and, um, just rest in peace and uh, yeah so I want to make this video just to pay my respects to them and you know just say that they're great amazing people so guys thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys next video bye guys